Are you struggling to keep track of your daily activities, whether for yourself or for your team? Then you're going to need to create a daily activity tracker, just like this. In today's video, I am going to be showing you exactly how to create this very daily activity tracker in under 60 seconds. But before I walk you through the full process, I do just want to quickly mention that I have made this pre-formatted template and the optimized script that we are going to be using to build it available for instant download. So if you do want to get that, there will be a link in the description below. I've made it as affordable as possible for you and you will save yourself some time and purchasing does also help to support me and this channel. So it really is a win-win all round. Now with that said, here is what you are going to need to do if you want to create this all for yourself. So I have opened up the prompt that we are going to be leveraging here and I'm just going to select tool and I'm going to press control C on my keyboard because we need to paste that into the AI tool. I'll walk you through that in a second, this prompt. I've gone into the message area and I'm pressing control V. Now at this point, I want to mention that I am using the free version of ChatGPT. So any one of you watching can do this entirely for free. That being said, if you are on the GPT Plus plan, um, then I would recommend that you use the latest model available to you. It just makes sense to use the most advanced model. That being said, the free uh, GPT model absolutely suffices for what we need to do here. So let me walk you through the prompt. First, we need to prime the tool. So act as a project management professional with decades of experience in creating insightful project management templates. Now here we need to provide our ask. So create me a daily activity tracker template in tabular format, not as code. It should be well formatted and organized so that I can copy it directly into Microsoft Excel. Now that's really, really important for saving us time. I want it to have all the necessary columns, including and in this particular order, colon, task number, task name, task description, start date, due date, status. And then we've got some options for the status column here, which I put in brackets, not started in progress on hold, complete, no longer necessary, close brackets, priority, low, medium, high, dependencies, assigned to, notes, additional comments, and any other col columns you think would be useful to include. Now, at this point, if you want to refine the daily acti activity tracker to suit more bespoke needs, that's where you could go in and change some of these columns and also the ordering as well, whatever you need. The bottom one is very useful though, because it gives us it gives you some insight into perhaps some columns you've overlooked or that may be useful. Now at the bottom of this prompt, I've said, provide 10 example tasks, which are generic and high level, and that demonstrate how to populate the activity tracker. Make them so that they could apply to any project in any industry. Now this is good, because it just gives us an idea as to some of the things that we're going to want to document. At this point, we're ready to go, so I'm just gonna press send message, and we just need to wait for chat GPT to do its thing, which isn't very long at all. So you'll notice it's being created in tabular format and we're currently at task five. So let's just wait for it to continue running. Now, what we get at the bottom here is a description of the columns and what we want to capture in each column. And it looks like what the prompt has done as well is it's added a couple of additional columns which we were missing. So estimated time and actual time. So if you wanted to, we could go back and edit this message and pretty, pretty much put these in in the list in the order we want them in, or we could leave them at the end, it's completely up to us. So now that that's done, what I want to do is select all of this table. So I'm left clicking on my mouse from the bottom right of the table you can also do this the other way. You could go the top left to the bottom right, but I want to select all of the table. I'm pressing Control C on my keyboard, and then I'm heading back into that Excel document. So I've opened up a fresh sheet here, it's completely blank. So at this point, we've got a couple of options. We can paste with the source formatting, but I actually like to match the destination formatting because I like to apply the formatting myself. So we're pressing that. Now at this point, I'm going to put all borders around, so we've got a table. 
I also um, am going to suggest that we change the font. So to do that, select this here, this little reverse triangle, and that selects every cell in the sheet. I'm going to change it to Aptos because I think that's nice and professional, clean, easy to read. At this stage, I'm going to select all the column headings. I'm going to press bold and I'm going to make these a bit bigger as well. I also like to differentiate the column headers using a little bit of gray. And at this point, I can, um, I'm going to select every cell again and we're going to wrap. So what that essentially does is if the text truncates, it's going to drop to the line below. At this point, with all the cells selected, I'm just going to drag that up. And then what we want to do basically is drag them out so that, uh, so what I've done there is I've hovered over the column and you see this little icon, double left click, and basically expands to the content area that's required so that it all appears on one line. But because we've got uh, the wrap text, it might not always do that. So what I might do at this point is I might just move this to the end just because that makes sense to be at the end there. Now, when you run that prompt, you may not get these two columns. Bear that in mind, that can happen. Sometimes the output will be slightly different and you may not even require them anyway. So I just thought I'd mention that. And I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and I'm actually just gonna quickly do this. So this is the formatting that takes time, but this just goes to your particular needs, essentially. I actually can do that like that. And that is pretty much the, um, the daily activity tracker for you. The only other thing I'd recommend perhaps doing is giving this a title. So we can do something like insert, insert. We can say daily activity tracker. And we can say for the individual, it could be, so my name's Jeremy, we could put for Jeremy for, or for that individual or for team alpha. You get the idea. Again, one other thing I should have mentioned, when it says assigned to, you could have your individual names here. If it's just yourself, if this is just your activity tracker, you may not even need this column. So you could delete this off entirely. I'm actually gonna do that. Merge and center, make that bit gray, make that nice and big and bold that out here. So we're gonna do that. And then the other thing I would recommend that you do is just change some of the columns. So these are date columns. I'm gonna right click, format cells. We're gonna make those date columns like that. Now, what we can also do, and I realize this takes a little bit of extra time than the 60 seconds I promised, but it is useful. At the moment, this is just, you know, generic text entry. What I'm gonna do is select that column. I'm gonna press data. I'm going to say uh, data validation, data validation. I'm going to check on the settings from allow. I'm going to drop that to list. Source, we are going to have, what were my options? It was not started, comma, in progress, on hold, completed, and not necessary. I think that's what I come up with at the start. So we're going to have that. Now, you'll notice that the drop down is available in these cells here. We don't want that. So I'm selecting G1 to G4. Data validation, data validation, make that any value. So now these are just any values, but anything underneath from row five downwards is the drop down. You need to do the same for priority. So data validation, data validation, list, low, medium, high, okay, and then remove it. So this is essentially why I'm making it available for instant download, because this sort of customization takes the time. But actually generating the activities tracker is as quick as it, as it gets, but that's it. That's the daily activity tracker. Again, the last thing we can do, just take off the grid lines if you wanted it to be a bit more visual. But yeah, that's how you create it. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop it down below. If you have any issues or just want to buy it and support this channel, link in the description below. With all that said, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.